Hello, Isha Church School. Some of you know me, my name is Dave. I'm the youth worker at Christchurch Isha and also the chaplain at Isha High School. Now, last week you had World Book Day. It's a great day where we can celebrate some of our favourite books, maybe the books we really enjoy reading over and over again. Now, as a Christian, I believe that uh, one of the best books we can ever look at, the best book we can read, is the Bible. And I'm sure through school, either in your classes or in your assemblies, you've heard lots and lots of different parts of the Bible being read to you. So this morning, what I want us to do is to just uh, think about what kind of book the Bible is. And you can see there we've got lots and lots of different numbers. And I'm going to ask some questions. And uh, one of these numbers will be the answer to that question. So here's the first one. When we hold a Bible in our hands, it looks like it's just one book. But actually, the Bible is made up of lots and lots of smaller books. But how many? Have a look at the numbers. Just have a think to yourself, maybe in your head or say to the person nearest to you, how many smaller books make up the Bible? You got your answer? The answer is 66. 66 different books. And there are different kinds of books in the Bible. There are books that are history books. There's poetry. There's songs. There's words of wisdom. There are letters that have been written from one person to another. And of course, we have the four Gospels that tell us the life of Jesus. Now, the Bible is also split into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. So again, can you see a number on here that would tell us how many books do you think there might be in the Old Testament? Have a think to yourself for a few moments. And the answer is... 39. 39 books in the Old Testament. Now, I'm sure that you're all very, very good at maths, which means it shouldn't take you too long at all to work out that if there are 39 books in the Old Testament, there must be 27 books in the New Testament. So 66 books in total. Now, with those books, there were a number of different people who wrote them. So I wonder if you can, again, have a look at these numbers and think roughly, because we don't know the answer to this exactly, but roughly how many different people wrote down these books of the Bible? Have a look. We've got less numbers now to choose from. Which one do you think it is? Have a look. 40. 40. Around 40. There are some books we're not entirely sure uh, who wrote them, but around 40 different people wrote those 66 books of the Bible. Now, when you've heard the Bible read in your classes or in your assemblies, I'd imagine most of the time it is read in English. But actually, the Bible has been written in a number of different languages. We've got three numbers left. And the question is, how many different languages was the Bible originally written in? Have a look at those numbers. And the answer is... Three. So most of the Bible is in Hebrew. A large chunk of it is in Greek. And then quite a small bit is in a language called Aramaic. So when we read our Bibles today, we're reading a translation from those original languages. Two numbers left to go. So this should be quite simple. And your next question is this. And again, it's a it's a bit of a rough estimate. It's not this answer isn't going to be exact. But when the first book of the Bible was written down from then until when the last book of the Bible was written down, how many years do you think that took? From the first book of the Bible being written to the last book of the Bible being written, how many years? It should be quite a simple one with only two numbers left. And the number is around about 1,500 years from when that first book of the Bible called Genesis was written to the last book of the Bible, Revelation, was written down. That's a long time, isn't it? Now that leaves us then with just one final number. I wonder if you can think to yourself, what kind of question would have the answer one to it? How does the number one relate to the Bible? We've already said it's one book made up of 66 smaller books. So what does this one mean? 
Well, this one means that the Bible tells us one big story. Even though it's all these different individual books, they all add up to tell us one big story. And the story is how God made us, how God loves us, how we let God down and spoil his wonderful, beautiful creation, but how God wants to bring us back into friendship with himself and how he did that by sending Jesus. And that is the big story of the Bible. That's what the Bible is really all about. Now, I'm sure at some point, most of you have done a jigsaw puzzle. Maybe when you were very young, you did one of those puzzles that only had like you know, eight or ten pieces, the really easy ones. Maybe now you try these tougher ones with a hundred or five hundred or even a thousand jigsaw pieces. And of course, when you see that jigsaw laid out before you, you've just got little fragments of the picture. You can only see the big picture once you fit all those pieces together. And so as we look at the Bible and we look at all the different Bible stories that we can uh, be excited about, that we can hear about, we need to see how they all fit together. Have a look at this jigsaw piece. Now, I wonder what the big picture of that jigsaw will look like. I don't know. It gives me an idea of what it might look like. It gives me a small part of it. But to fully see the beauty and the, and the big picture, I need all the pieces slotted in together. And over the next few weeks and next few months, uh, there'll be various people from Christchurch presenting assemblies to you. And we will be giving you those little pieces of the Bible story. Each week we'll give you another piece to fit together, to help us to see God's big picture, God's big story, that message of love that he has for us. And I hope that you're going to be as excited about hearing those stories and seeing how they all fit together as we're going to be excited about presenting them to you. The Bible is an amazing book. And over the next few weeks, we're going to look and just see how amazing the God who wrote it really is. I'm going to finish by saying a prayer and it's on your screen. And if you'd like to join in um, with this prayer, then you can say Amen at the end. Because Amen basically means I agree. I agree with what you've said. So I'm going to pray as we finish our assembly. Dear God, thank you for the Bible and all that it teaches us about you. We thank you that you love us so much and you want us to know that. Help us to understand the Bible and its amazing message of love and all it shows us about how we should treat those around us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening at Isha Church School. And uh, I'll be back again in a, in a few weeks again to give you another piece, another part of that big picture of the Bible.